G'day and welcome back for more Survival Unlikely. And those words have not been truer than right now oh. as we both plummet toward the planet. <laughs> I really should have had that sandwich before we left. Oh, uh, here we go. Alright, hydrogen thrusters off. Atmo thrusters are on. Turrets are on. We better hope we don't run into any pirates down there on the planet. How you doing over there, Kabak? I can see you. Well, I'm cold. I am falling very fast. My ship is on fire. <laughs> so, a, situation normal. There's a cockroach <laughs> flying over there. Cockroaches are the worst when they're flying. <laughs> this is true. There's a Phytotron trying to burn its way through my armor with its inertial dampeners. Um... Well... Someone left them on. Well, Phytotron's a rebel. 20 kilometers down till surface. I'm coming down right on top of this mountain range, how about you? Yeah... yeah it is looking uncomfortably pointed in my direction. Does, does this hit you with any deja vu? Um, I mean, last time we were colder and we were in, uh, in just our suits, but... Yeah, I guess there's more things to explode when I hit this time. That's true. Uh-oh. What's our O? SPRT Mayday. 30 kilometers behind us. Oh, it's 30 k's behind us. We don't have to worry about that. You have got your Atmo thrusters on, don't you? Yep. Good. Steve, we are almost home, little buddy. Yeah, apparently we miss you so much that we're going on a suicide mission to meet up with you again. <laughs> um, Splitsy's idea, of course. I would never suggest a plan of action that resulted in everybody's death. Hey, you... Uh, how, how am I the bad guy for suggesting we go back and rescue Steve? Steve. I don't know, he's probably been safer there on his own. That, that is entirely possible. That mm. is... But still, 10 kilometers up. I'm listing lazily. I am leveling off. And my inertial dampeners remain off at present. Might turn them on. That way my thrusters can kick in as soon as they're able. Oh man, those mountains are getting close. Yeah, they kind of are. Um... Well, my ion thrusters do diddly squat. Oh, awesome. An unknown signal just spawned just above the mountains. That's going to give me a range marker for the top of the mountain. Uh, how far away are the mountains? Uh, four kilometers. Actually, it feels a lot closer than that. Okay, I'm, parachute. I'm going to activate my hydrogen thrusters because this is looking very, very, very bad. Parachute. 2,500. <laughs> Parachute, 2,500. Parachute, 2,500. Uh, my Atmos don't appear to be doing anything. Your Atmos aren't going to do anything. What do you mean they're not going to do anything? We're too high up. These mountains are too high up. Well, I tried to move away from them. Uh, did you use your hydros to push? Yeah. Okay. I am currently hovering. Oh, I'm losing speed. I think my I was I had my big engines um, off. No, they they weren't angled right to slow uh, me down. Oh, my, there's the parachute. I can't okay. see you. I should be I should be right. I think I'm good too. <sighs> oh, what's what's happening? What do you mean what's happening? Why am I why am I turning? Is my... My parachute is messing with me. Stop that parachute. <laughs> Do you need your parachutes, though? I don't think so. Well, you could cut them. Uh, how do I... How do? Uh, select them in your control panel and close them. We're gonna have to re-acclimatize. All my muscles will have atrophied in the moon gravity. They're like if, floppy noodles. If that's your way of trying to get away with being lazy, it's not going to work. What? I can barely lift my arm. I feel like a sponge. Ooh, that snow looks nice. 
I'll make a snow cone. Oh, and we'll be able to breathe the air again. Can I, how far from Steve are you? Don't know. Your, your marker was like two kilometers up in the air. I know. It was a desperation marker when we were leaving. Because we both forgot to put one. So I'm almost down to the ground. Can you not see the antenna from Steve? I don't have my hut on. Oh. And the trees just appeared. Oh, that's you. Uh, you're not landing on the lake. You're landing on a cliffside. Oh. <laughs> just have to ruin everything. <laughs> the sunlight feels so different. It feels warm. Uh, Kava, you, you probably do want to make it the way over here. I have touched down. <sighs> Look, it is not easy to navigate with a bunch of thrusters missing. <laughs> I just wanted to get down on the ground. Alright, fair enough. And now I'm doing like a weird hoppy thing. I'm going to land next to this wreck. Oh, that's right. We need to collect a bunch of magnesium while we're here. Although we probably don't. We've got heaps of ammo. Alright, I'm coming over. On foot, I presume. Oh, with my jetpack. Oh, what's going on here? What the? Touchdown! What is this thing? A cockroach has landed. What? Why is there a space station here? Because this is... Oh yeah, you didn't see this. What? <laughs> I didn't brought see this... what? <laughs> Where did this UFO come from? I brought this down with me on one of my return trips. Yep. While you were on the moon base on your own. Oh. It's a bit Spartan. Yeah, because I've... You could have put up some curtains or something. I've salvaged most of it. It's mainly just, uh... Well, steel plate and grids at this point. Is this my seat? Sure, you can have that seat until I grind it down. we got to prepare for takeoff. We're headed to Mars. Not in this wind. Oh, ow. What? I fell did through you, a hole in the ship. Where did you go? <laughs> I fell down. What, down here? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Oh. Ow. Yes. Yes, indeed. It actually did hurt a little bit. So we're not flying this to Mars. Not this. Although, oh. I didn't realize how many more ion thrusters there were on the bottom. Yeah, there's heaps. Yeah, we should really be salvaging them before we go. And this turret. I don't know, that sounds kind of boring. <sighs> well, fine. It'll be here when we get back. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. Wait, are we coming back? No, we're not coming back. Oh. I don't want... There's... Then it'll be Ooh. here when we don't come back. So, there are a couple of things we need to do while we're here. We need to collect a whole bunch of magnesium. Oh, that sounds like work. <laughs> yes, it is. We need to collect a whole bunch of magnesium and we need to make something to lift the rover up with us to space so we can take it with us to Mars. Okay. Uh, lift. Yeah, so um, I was thinking something more like a, a crane attachment to the top of it. Something that is a fairly large lifting vehicle that might even be something we could modify your superior gremlin to become. Uh, so the idea would be the gremlin has two attachment points, one for the trailer and one for the truck of the rover. Um, I don't think the gremlin can achieve orbit at the moment. I'm... Yes, I'm not surprised after you pilot it down here, but I think we can make it achieve orbit. Or... Here's the other, here's the other thing I was thinking of. How about we merge the superior gremlin to the trailer and the truck? Um, Start building an agglomeration that will eventually become our space station. Why does the trailer say Steve on the side? Why does it say Steve on the side? Mm, looks like he's been busy while we've been gone. How? How does it say Steve? Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he hired some cheap day laborers. <laughs> Did you do that while I wasn't watching? 
What? I didn't do it. Yeah, right. What? I don't trust you. If not one bit. Look. One, two, three, four, five. If I was so inclined and I had space for five <laughs> letters, I clearly would have written Capac across the side. Really? This is just logic. Uh, yeah, that is that is difficult to dispute. I will admit that. All right. Anyway, so what do you think about merging it to this and making a big agglomeration of the three pieces? So what? So we're gonna merge the cockroach? No, and not the cockroach. The cockroach stays as is. Wait. But we might build a way for the cockroach to attach to the thing, so one person can pilot the lot. Uh, I don't know. This all sounds really complicated. This is more your department. Yes. Yes, it is. So, but but are you okay with me with the idea of merging the two pieces together, the three things together? Uh, sure. As long as it's temporary. No, it's permanent. What? What's wrong with it being permanent? Well, the superior goblin likes his independence. It's a gremlin. That too. <laughs> but it, it it would be sort of like getting an extra arm and leg. And a torso. Uh, that doesn't sound comfortable at all. <laughs> what, what if they worked and you, you knew how to control them? So you could make use of your third leg. What am I going to do with an extra torso? Um... Eat twice as much? Mm, good point. You could fit more sandwiches in that way. That is true. Oh yeah, I need my health back. Alright, all this talk has made me tired. I'm gonna have a nap. Oh, it's not time for a nap! Huh? It is not time for a nap. You need to go and collect some magnesium. Oh, magnesium. Also, it's a bit rude you haven't gone to say hello to Steve. Well... Steve, where are you, Steve? Oh. oh. What are you doing over here? What happened to your plinth? What do you mean, what happened to his plinth? Oh. Hmm. Well, that's unusual. What? Uh, Steve seems to have constructed a friend for himself while we've been gone. What? You mean Man. like the way you constructed Steve to be your friend? He's construct Steve oh man this guy's huge he's like eight feet tall I think Steve likes me what what's well, me it's not you it's clearly me how is it clearly you I'm gray it's gray I mean it's got a much more animated face for starters rude and, and yeah it's like made out of rock or metal or something of course it's gray he probably you just hasn't you can paint it. If it was meant to be you, surely it would be painted orange. Yeah, he probably just Rather than all shiny and chrome. Yet. Hey, there's coins in here. Give me them coins. I know I'm your favorite. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy, fish. I'm rich. All right, come and show me the state of your superior gremlin. Uh, okay. Um, well, it's pretty much the same as when we left the moon. Yeah, I didn't really get a look at it. Hey, boy. Well, I mean, it's still got the big hole in the front where you crashed into it. You never fixed that? I haven't had time. Things kept trying to blow me up. Right. Speaking of, uh, no, nothing's trying to blow us up right now. Okay. Actually, you know what? I could probably fly it closer. It should take off with just the atmospheric thrusters. How did you get over here so fast? I flew. Hello. Uh, on. Uh. Yep, there we go. Ah, right, stop burning up my deck. Turn I'm off not. my thrusters. My thrusters are off. Oh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Why are your parachutes open? <laughs> I don't have any thrusters in some kind of direction. That's why I was having issues flying. Uh, your thrusters are off. Your right ones. Well, maybe they've taken damage. 
And your left ones are off. So your sideways thrusters are off. That's right. I'm just going to land and forget about it. What? Well, it doesn't matter that they're off if I'm just visually inspecting to see that I've got them in every direction. No. Oh. Man, what are you, some kind of backseat gremlin flyer? Uh, you don't appear to have reverse. Heaps of up. Yeah, I don't see any reverse. Where would you like reverse thrust? Come over here. Don't, don't go placing things willy nilly. Why do you think I asked? I don't have any forwards that I can see, but there was some in here, weren't there? Oh, they're all up and down. Where do you want the reverse thrust? Mm, that doesn't look right. I'm gonna build it for you, so just tell me where you want it. Um, okay, let me see. So you'll need some forward atmospheric and some reverse atmospheric, is that right? Uh, okay, the reverse ones can go up the front here next to the spotlight. So, like... that? Yeah, sure, why not? Whoop. Right, left, backward, up, down... No. Oh. Thought the cockroach was on fire, but it's just the Phytotron. What? What do you mean the Phytotron? The remains of it that are attached to the cockroach. What do you mean the remains of it? So what have you done to my Phytotron? You... got killed in it when your game crashed. When the universe decided to stop existing for you. Mm. Sounds unlikely. No, the universe has met you. It knows to stop existing randomly for you. Because your reaction would be hilarious. Stupid universe. Oh, I put out the fire on your big your big thruster. Oh, good. Have you put all the new thrusters on? I have put one new thruster on. But have you placed them all? Uh, sort of. Take that as a yes. I've, I've placed four, but only one of them is a forward thruster. So you have not placed any backwards thrusters? No, I've placed three backwards thrusters and one forwards. So Eh, that'll do. Yeah, I'm just trying to get Wait, one of each. Hmm. I'm so confused. You now have two complete new thrusters. One forwards, one backwards. They were the only directions lacking, weren't they? Yes. Am I... Am I moving? Yes. Very, very slowly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Give me back my little red ship. Uh, you'll also break very, very slowly. How do you, th how do you think we should join these three together? Should we make this one? Should we put this one on top or underneath? Um, beside. Well, what's going to be our primary lift? Well, we're going to have to add some lift. But for the moment, you. Well, we'll have to have this thing somewhere where the hydrogen thrusters can work, I guess. Oh, yeah, so they'll need to be toward the rear. So, on top or bottom or on the side. Still works. So what, I should just land on the trailer then? No, I, I'm just thinking... Just land nearby and we'll, we'll talk it through and we'll see what we think we can do. Well, I'm trying to. Oh boy. Oh boy. Walking around when someone's flaring is not the most confidence inspiring. Well, I'm trying not to land on anything important. You want to park any further away? Do you want to, do you want me to risk <laughs> crashing this thing into the trailer? <laughs> A little bit. So I was already feeling like I was getting pretty close. What the M I L T R F R Fort Victoria Cargo Uranium. Hmm. That's pretty far away there. Wanna take a cockroach cannon? Oh, a what? What's it? Oh, we can have a look at that with the cockroach. Hmm. If you get in one of the cannons, you can use its camera to. Uh, I already can't see it at the HUD. I think it's out of range. Oh. Um. 
It says Steve under the elevator. It does? A lot. It's very emphatic. About Steve. That's kind of creepy. Uh, how do I activate this thing? There we go. Alright, how are we going to do this? If we... Oop. I kind of like the idea of the gremlin being above, like, a second story on the trailer. Uh, okay. What do you think? So if we move your little miner ship, your little atmospheric mining bug thing, mm. and we take off those turrets, we should be able to figure out a way that we can line it up. I don't remember making a mining ship. It was a while ago. I'm not surprised you don't remember. Uh, I don't know how well this thing is going to dig downwards, so... Right click. Right click with your drills. And then just spin. Wait, didn't I have a big hole for the magnesium somewhere around here? It's over this way. I might as well get my unknown signal while I'm at it. I think there might be a hole over here you can use to get it. I got policeman boots. What? What the? Oh, that was where the base yeah. was. I remember now. That's where I had the cockroach parked. Maybe I didn't drill a hole down. Maybe it's one it's of these ones. to see anything down here. Oh, there's another scuttler. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. What, what are you not owing about? Because now I have to run back to the base. Ah. Yep, you made a critical error. Indeed. Do you want to go and hijack that scuttler? What? I thought we need a magnesium. We do. But is the scuttler full of magnesium? No, but it has two large Atmo thrusters that we could add to our agglomeration. And a few hydrogen tanks. Right, I'm going to start building the agglomeration. I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to ask you for permission for how I do it. I'm just going to do it. Sure. I will dig these magnesiums. Sure. I'm going to make the ugliest ship I have ever made. And that's including Igor. I don't know, you made some pretty ugly ships. What's that mean? So, what's your plan? What are you going to do with that thing now that you're here? Uh, my plan was to figure out how I was going to align it. So that I'd be able to lock it on and then start moving everything, start merging everything and then start working out how I could, uh, make corridors to climb through in it because it was too too hard to work it out from over there so we make it relative to the tray oops oh oops. you just clipped the gun yep so should we go directly overhead or should i go slightly off to one side uh well i feel like if you're going directly overhead you're like blocking all the guns oh yeah but we'll need to remove the guns and place them elsewhere the guns are not in a position that works also, does it look like I'm sinking? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, it also looks like you're cooking my, my mining ship. I think I know why I'm sinking very slowly. This little friend. Actually, you might be able to drop the... the rear landing gear. Whoa, what was that? Might be able to lock the rear landing gear onto that row of white blocks near the connector. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to lock that way. I don't think. I'm getting rid of your pigeon-toed feet. Oh, that's the thing. We'll need to have the Atmo thrusters not attached. Well, won't like we, we don't want to move them. We don't want to have to move them. So we want them not blasting a hole through the trailer wherever we attach. Oh. Maybe we make this thing kind of long and have the gremlin as the rear section. I don't know. I'm just going to dig. Whoa! I almost died. I'm just going to dig until everything above me explodes. It's 
It's not going to explode. It'll be fine. Such a pessimist. I don't know, you're sounding like you're almost exploding up there. No, I just fell out of the front of your gremlin and almost died. Well, maybe you shouldn't blast holes in it next time and that won't happen. Oh, it was because I was trying to enter through the hole that I blasted. <laughs> well, in that case, you should stop trying to enter through what are supposed to be windows. Okay, that will leave, I think, the Atmos clear. Yeah, the three large Atmos will be able to stay where they are, and we'll just have to move the other thrusters. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to connect the trailer and merge it so that it becomes a station. Because if I don't do that, this is going to be very, very messy when I uh, lock the gremlin to it. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it really won't. It'll be so bad. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, what I'm expecting would happen, and this is not worst case, this is just relatively likely, is that I would merge the gremlin to it. It would then flip the trailer backwards, pulling the truck onto it, and all three would explode and make a massive hole in the ice and probably take out the wreck that's parked near us as well. Hmm. That does sound kind of entertaining. <laughs> it does sound a bit entertaining, but it's also very, very bad. So I'm going to do everything I can to avoid that occurrence. So Capac, can you please... Oh, oh you're going to unload and then you're going to move out of the way? Yeah, that would probably be for the best. Uh, that's a good idea. Um, and then I was going to get you to pilot the gremlin. So, Kabak, can you pilot the gremlin, please? Oh, no. Uh... Gotta get some hydrogens. Because I'm hoping that you'll be able to get that merge block onto the one that's on the trailer. I can do anything. Alright. Time for an increased degree of difficulty. What? Decreased degree of difficulty. No, increased. No, decreased. No, increased. No, decreased. Increased. This isn't Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> it's worse. This isn't Sekiro. This is Dark Souls by Splitzy. Mm. Alright. Are you in the pilot seat? Yes. Okay. Move to your right about three meters. Uh, nose down about two uh, or three degrees. But that's not going to work. Those hydrogen thrusters will hit things. What hydrogen? No, no, no. I'm, I'm watching. It should work. Uh, come downward. Can you see enough? Whoa. Yeah. Gently. Yeah, it comes down pretty fast. Uh-oh. Uh, all right. Keep coming down. You're about a meter off. I think all the blocks are clear. I should probably move from here, because that's not a good place to be. All right. You're yellow, so come down just that little bit further. There you go. You're locked. Nice. How did those hydrogen thrusters... Because they only take up one block. Mm. So now we can just grind them off and then move them elsewhere. Your Atmo thrusters are all nice and clear of the hull of the trailer. Yeah, it probably wouldn't matter anyway. What wouldn't matter? The thrusters, they'd be fine. No. Alright, so should I take off? Uh, you can't. You're now part of a station. Oh. Well, that's boring. But you can you should now work on the remodel because this is your ship. What? Oh, now that it's part of the trailer, that means it's your ship. You're not piloting the cockroach. What? Wait, I have to fly this piece of nonsense? <laughs> to another planet? <laughs> yes. This was never a part of our arrangement, nor was giving hand to this bounty hunter. Alright, but this is your ship, so Inventory get to work. Full. Get cracking. Oh, it crack a lacking. I don't even know where to begin. Well, start by merging the conveyor systems of the two grids. Well, I guess that's easy enough. 
and making sure that every conveyor on Whoa. the gremlin is connected to every other bit. Yeah, that's not so simple. Yeah, that's something that you need to do though, because having all of these systems, these cargo systems linked up would be very, very helpful. Uh oh. Just, um... Why did that happen? I'm going to make a few extra links between the gremlin and the base. What did you grind off that dropped? A whole bunch of stuff, but my my inventory wasn't even full. I don't know. Also, are you going to match the colours or are we going to have green and yellow I and purple? I don't know. I can only handle so many things at once and at the moment I've run out of fuel. Okay. It's just asking a question. Jeez. Ow. <laughs> Ow? Doing it on purpose. <laughs> what am I doing on purpose? You're saying too many things to confuse me. <laughs> I suppose we can get rid of the grind grinder pit in the trailer now too. Well, it's gonna be hard to put things in it now. <laughs> this is true. That that opens up a nice bit of space in the trailer, which is good. So many superconductors. Can't you automatically move them by just dragging them from that to the next one? What? Where are you on the ground? I'm putting them in a connector. Oh. Because for some reason they were in the connector when I disassembled it to replace it with a pipe. Now why can't this work? There's too much gravity. <laughs> What do we even need motors for? Who ever heard of a motor? Oops. What do I take us for? Some kind of engineers? Well, one of us is an engineer. Well, you shouldn't talk down about yourself like that. Well, I shouldn't what? Gotta maintain a positive outlook. You're the one constantly complaining! Just because you're not qualified like me. I'm a qualified motorologist. Yeah. So many things I want to say and none of them are remotely nice. <laughs> this thing is such a mess. <laughs> ah, I fell in the grinder pit. Would you like me to close the doors? Uh, yes, actually, that would be very handy. Uh... Wasn't there a button downstairs that closed them? Oh great, it's real useful. <laughs> what? Uh, what? They don't close all the way. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> what are you doing? I was trying to get up onto... Yeah, it doesn't even matter. I don't understand. Alright, should I get rid of the doors? Yeah, probably. They're not going to serve much purpose now. Oh man, this is going to be such an awesome station when it's done. It's going to be so random. I love it. If we can manage to make this agglomeration of ships and the truck and everything look good, I'm going to be seriously impressed. If we can manage to get this thing off the ground, I'm going to be impressed. Ah, it'll get off the ground, don't worry about that. Yeah, it'll get off the ground and flip over and be on the ground again. No, 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 no. I've got... I've got plans. I, I'm going to merge block the front to the back so that the rotors aren't an issue. Because it will be impossible to fly with the rotors. Okay, I think I've taken out all the thrusters that would be conflicting with the hull. Oh. Oh wait, is this going to be Space Station Steve? The SSSSS. Well, I guess it is now. Super Space, the Superior Space Station Steve. Oops. What do you mean, oops? Drop some pipes. Don't oops. But my oops are minor oops, your oops are bad oops. Yeah, you say that. Name one major oops I did. Um. Actually, don't. I'm sure you can probably think of one. Yes, exactly. No, do. Come on. 
I dare you. Um, so, how many croissants did we bring back with us from the moon? Should not have dared you. Yeah, see? Come on. Come on. Oh, so close. This not going to be good enough. Come on, jiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yes! Whoa! Oh. What just happened? <laughs> yes! Whoa! Oh. What just happened? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, me neither. I was just <laughs> flying in through the door to get some more hydrogen. <laughs> oh, Steve's not going to be happy. Well. Whoa. Whoa. What? I think Don't. the rotor exploded. <laughs> and the, oh, the lift mechanism has embedded itself in the base. Uh, be careful. Okay, that's better. Well, that was one way to get rid of the one of wheels. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's an approved method. <laughs> well, three have become one. Uh, <laughs> great. Uh, <laughs> just great. That was crazy. I was not expecting that to explode. Yeah, me neither. I mean, there were a lot of subgrids changing position very rapidly, so it's not that out of the realms of expected, but just hadn't thought about it. Mm. What's wrong? I don't think we should be too proud of this technological terror we've constructed. You don't think we should be proud of this? I think there's uh, some cultures that would excommunicate us for doing this. Do you think this is a monstrosity? Have we Frankensteined too much? Yeah, we, uh... So concerned about whether we could that we didn't stop to think of whether we should. Oh, we definitely should. This is going to be amazing. Once I grind down all the Steves. Uh, well, leave Steve alone. He did. Well, he might have had something. To do with it. Possible. I was mucking around with naming things. Is partially responsible for the whole thing exploding. I don't think he's even read through the safety procedures. Oh no, we don't have enough girders or bulletproof glasses. Or what? Windows. Surely we can make some. Maybe. We might be out of silicon. Well, you might have to mine some then, if that's the case. Just want a window! Is that too much to ask? Apparently. Surely at this point you're starting to feel somewhat more confident about this thing being able to fly. Well, I'm, I'm feeling less confident about its flight ability the further this goes. Really? Why? Because with each passing second I find more reasons why it should not be possible for it to fly. Name seven. Well. Uh, we built it? No, everything we've built's flown. Uh, to greater or lesser degrees. Uh, yes. It's for differing durations, but they, they've all flown. At least the things that are meant to. But even some of the things that weren't meant to fly have flown. Well, come back. I think we've got our work cut out for us, but I think we'll be able to get this done. Sure. You have three large Atmos on that. How heavy does this thing say if it's in if we're in a cockpit? Oh, it's a station, so it won't tell us. Rats. So I reckon this thing's gonna be what? Three maybe three two times heavier than the cockroach? Sure. Maybe four times. Well if we can get seven, maybe eight large atmospheric thrusters for lift, I think we should give it a flight test. Sure. But we will do that next time. 
For now, we just get to admire our blob. Oh, finally, I get to take a nap. Yep. Off to the cryotubes. Uh, Actually, I'm going... Oh, I've well, got no bed. Really? What's wrong? Replace the exploded wheel with a... Thruster. Yeah. Yeah, our beds are on the moon. We didn't have beds down on Earth. I know. Just had our cryopods. <sighs> well, next time we're gonna hopefully get this thing ready for flight. What do you reckon? Do you think there's a chance of it? Yeah, maybe. Well, guess we'll find out next time. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. And you can do the test flight. Sure, I'll do the test flight. I'll do the test flight. I'm happy to be the test pilot. Say hello to everybody. <laughs>